officially moving week, you guys. Why does everything have my name on it? guys or good afternoon should i say because it's like 1 30. i have just spent this morning editing my weekly vlog it's tuesday so it's an upload day uh i still have a ton of editing left to do i have basically not touched the weekly vlog all week normally i try and edit little bits every single day so when it comes to the end of the week i don't have like a ton of editing to do i just haven't had time for that this week in amongst all of the moving chaos so um yeah that is my main focus this afternoon but i just thought i would say hi welcome back to another vlog you guys or welcome if you're new here my name is ella i'm 26 and i live in adelaide with my husband i work part-time as a travel agent and then also part-time for myself doing my social media um i do a lot of vlogs and lifestyle content money and personal finance videos so if any of that is your cup of tea definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and i really really appreciate it but yeah, welcome to the first of the moving vlogs because it is officially moving week, you guys. I never thought I'd see this day. It has been a long time coming. Let me tell you, we signed the contract for our house and started building. Well, we signed the contract back in October of 2021 and then we officially started building in February of last year. So we've been building for over a year, but this whole process has been like over a year and a half now. So it's been a long time coming and we're very grateful that the end is in sight. We pick up our keys on Thursday, today is Tuesday. So literally two days from now, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, we still have a lot to do between now and then, mostly just this weekly vlog that I have to edit. That's really all I can think about right now. So I'm gonna get back to editing, just grab a coffee to fuel me through the rest of this afternoon. And then I think later this afternoon or this evening, I'm gonna go to Kmart, Big W and Target if I can, um, and just pick up a few like house essentials. We need toilet brushes, bathroom bins, soap dispensers, just random little knickknacks. They're not really essential essential, but I've been holding off on buying a lot of things until we were closer to our move-in date um which this time last week was looking a little touch and go <laughs> if you watched last week's vlog you would have probably already seen but on tuesday last week we got a call from our builder telling us that the house wouldn't be ready and they were asking if we could delay handover by two weeks which when you're a week away from getting your keys is just like absolutely impossible like it's so impractical we'd already broken our lease and we would basically have nowhere to live i think what made it worse is that we obviously told them that and rather than immediately being like okay like we'll try and work around you um there was just like this 30 minutes of pure panic and pure chaos of her being like okay look i'll have to speak to the supervisor so we had half an hour of absolute stress of being like oh my gosh what are we gonna do we're gonna have nowhere to live what do we do with all our stuff obviously she came back half an hour later and was like that's fine like we'll work around it um and then we went to go do our final walkthrough last thursday and it just wasn't done wasn't it wasn't done so the final walkthrough has been scheduled for this thursday um and they said we can have the keys right after so fingers crossed in two days one way or another we're gonna have the keys and we're gonna be moving in and i'm so excited <laughs> got my name written all over it that feels so nice do you think that would be too warm maybe i'm quite hot at night those are cool do you think we need any more glasses then i'm gonna need some tea towels do you like these or too pink no they're not too pink do you think they'll go without the vibe yeah i think they will 
We could go like the sage green. I quite like the green ones. I like ones. sage green. I'm not saying it because I don't like it. I don't really know like what else we're gonna, what other colors we're gonna have though. Well, really it all comes back to what, what color cushions. It does come back to that. That says the theme for the house. Was... Yeah. Okay, now we're deciding which lamp to choose. Oh, oh my God, why does everything have my name on it? Are you saying that? I don't think I even really like it that much, but I'm just saying. I quite like that one, but do you think it's too it's big? Lean. I don't think it's too big. Or too I quite big. like the Clara. That one's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my video. Do you like that? I need to have a look at it. I do like it, I don't love it. No, I thought it would be wider. It's like kind of a creepy brown color. Oh, yeah. It's a concentration for me. The other person clearly came to the same conclusion. <laughs> to see when they're not all on display like Pixar lamp perfect that's the one I reckon that one's not too bad I actually quite like that I love that one the squiggly one it's, like the... it's quite an interesting texture you're not gonna be stroking it hi friends happy Thursday it's moving day, guys. I can't believe it. Well, not officially. We get our keys today. We're not gonna start moving anything over until tomorrow, but today is the day. We have been waiting for this day for so long. I've just put on the kettle. I'm gonna make Nick a cup of tea. He's working from home today. And yeah, I just picked canned, ready for the weekend. I just put a load of washing on. I'm washing our sheets. Sorry, this is not a good time to vlog my moment. <laughs> fact about me I might be the only English person that doesn't like tea I know controversial <laughs> but I make a good cup of tea while the tea's brewing I thought I would give you guys a rundown of our day so today's Thursday I have today off of work I've actually also taken tomorrow off normally I don't work Tuesdays and Thursdays um because I only work part-time but Nick and I have also taken Friday off of work so we can have a full day of moving Saturday is like our proper move-in day so we pick let me go back a sec. <laughs> I'm like getting too ahead of myself. This afternoon we have our final walkthrough. That's at like 4.45, I think. I should probably double check that. Yeah, 4.45 is our final walkthrough. So that's when we're gonna go through, check everything out, make sure everything's up to scratch, point out any blemishes or anything that needs changing or fixing or whatever. That's at 4.45. Not sure how long that will take. And then right afterwards, we should be getting our keys. And then we're in the houses up. I don't think we're gonna move anything over tonight because I really want to film an empty house tour but by the time we're done it's gonna be dark and the lighting it will just be pointless so we're not really gonna do anything tonight and then tomorrow first thing we're gonna go over film the tour take pictures just like bask in the glory of being in our own home without anyone there I cannot wait and then we we're basically just gonna fill our car up with as much stuff as we physically can and just do a bunch of loads um, and then Saturday is like our proper moving day so we've hired a moving truck my parents are gonna come help we're gonna move over all the big pieces of furniture and hopefully by Saturday afternoon we should be all in we have this rental until thursday next week so um is it thursday or wednesday honestly i don't even know everything is on my google Calendar. that's honestly all that is saving me yeah next thursday is when we have to hand in the keys so we still have a week here which is good it should give us enough time to like get everything packed up moved over without rushing and then also gives us time to clean so that is a little rundown of the next couple of days i'm excited i'm excited to bring you guys along also i don't know if anyone else knows this hack maybe this isn't revolutionary but if you like tea but you're like me and you hate using a bloody teaspoon just knock it back and forth you actually only have to do it three times i went a little extra no drips absolutely none Took me 23 years to learn that trick. Yeah, I didn't vlog anything yesterday, but we were both just at work all day and didn't really do anything. I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. We placed a big target order yesterday. Obviously I went to Kmart on Tuesday. I didn't show you guys that stuff. So I'll do a big like home 
homewares haul, if you will. All the stuff's in Nick's office though, so I have to do that when he's on his lunch break. But yeah, I went to Target yesterday to go buy the rest of the stuff because I didn't have time to go there on Tuesday. The shop's closed and I was about to buy a whole bunch of stuff and then I checked the Target app because sometimes they have like special sales or coupons or barcodes and stuff barcodes and stuff you know what I mean so I checked the target app and it was like 20% off all home online only and I was like wonderful so I put everything back and then I just went around the shop and added everything to my cart and then placed an online order so I could get the 20% off now I have to go back later this afternoon and actually pick up my click and collect order stunning but we saved 20% and then we also have a good guys order to go pick up I don't know if this is a terrible mistake or not but we didn't get our dishwasher delivered we're gonna try and fit it into our car I actually don't know if this is gonna work I tried googling it measurements I don't know it just seems like it's possible <laughs> it might not be it really might not be we'll find out and we also ordered a coffee machine as well so we're gonna go pick that up <sighs> lots to think about guys since we're getting a new coffee machine, I'm going to put this up on Facebook Marketplace. I actually might take some photos now and get the ball rolling. Kind of sad to say goodbye to our beautiful Nespresso. She's definitely served us well. I also just love this setup with like the pod organizer. I just think it's so beautiful. Aesthetic. I love it. But I'm excited about having a proper coffee machine. I think that's the one. The money shot. to do our final walkthrough and get our keys hopefully <laughs> <laughs> i feel like this whole process has been like hopefully no nah, like it will it will be yeah we haven't seen uh, when's the last time we went last Dude. week no but as in like to see it didn't we go one night this week yeah but it was dark we couldn't see a single and the concrete thing. was not bored let's just say that yeah we're hoping for the best we haven't heard anything different like we should be getting the keys tonight so I feel like yeah. they would tell us otherwise. Um, we also had our mattress delivered. <laughs> Came so fast Thanks from Emma Mattress. Um, so I think that's sitting in the garage, hopefully. <laughs> the guy took a photo, the courier, and I think it looks like our garage, but I'm not yeah. sure. There's still, there's people around, do you know what I mean? They're in the net because they're doing yeah. the walls You know what I'm them. imagining? Like the block. Like I actually am like down to the wire. 60 minutes to go, guys. <laughs> they're nearly here. Is that MasterChef <laughs> or the block? That sounded like MasterChef. I don't know. They're all the same. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Or me. <laughs> We've got three remotes. How did I not know that the builder had a builder's key? Like a master key? Yeah. <laughs> we did it, you guys. We got the keys. I don't actually have them physically here to show you, so I feel like this is kind of anticlimactic. We did our final walkthrough, which went really well. We probably spent like a good hour there. My dad came and my mom did as well. Um, which was really helpful they recently built like a couple years ago just before covid um so they kind of know what to look for my dad's like very practical used to be a mechanic I feel bad saying used to but he's retired now he's just got like an eye for detail and he knows what he's looking at whereas nick and i are just walking around like oh yeah looks good <laughs> like a little scratch there or like that needs filling in or whatever it is um whereas my dad is like no structurally or just like whatever i don't know i don't actually know what he knows but he points it out and it gets fixed that's all i'll say <laughs> on that but the house looks so good i can't wait to show you guys around i think by the time this vlog goes up i would have already uploaded my empty house tour i'm really hoping i can film that tomorrow before we start moving stuff in it's a little bit i don't really know what to expect tomorrow because the builders will still be on site they'll be on site for like the next few weeks doing the landscaping and touching things up i know for sure they'll be in the house tomorrow i just don't know how long for and like obviously i want to start moving stuff in but i want to film like an empty house tour i don't know 
the life of a YouTuber. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I also couldn't think of anything worse than like walking around and be like, this is my new house. And there's tradies in there. Oh, that would be so embarrassing. Anyway, I thought I would give you guys, sorry, this is not the most beautiful shot, but hey, this is the reality of building. Um, sorry, I've got notifications blowing up left, right, and center. I have two people coming to pick stuff up from Facebook Marketplace, so I'm trying to coordinate that. Anyway, I thought I'd give you guys the homewares haul. We just went to Target and picked up our click and collect order, so I thought now was the perfect time. Got a couple of, well, I say a couple, we got four new pillows. I thought it was about time. New house, new vibes. We'd upgrade our pillows. These are the Tontine Temperature Balance. Sorry, not that exciting, but I'm excited. <laughs> this is also not really exciting, but we got two of these black bins for the bathroom. What else did we get? We got some light bulbs <laughs> for our new lamps. I'll show you guys what they look like. I also got a folder because I thought it was about time I actually grew up and became a real adult and started filing important documents, <laughs> like mortgage papers, house things, you know. I mean, we keep the documents, we just don't really have a place for all of them. So I'm gonna start a little filing system. These are the lamps we got from Kmart. They're the Hudson table lamp. I'll get one out so I can show you. I also realized the other day, I have never had a bedside table. Never in my entire life. Oh gosh, this just feels like too much work. You know what? This is too hard. Just gonna have to stay tuned for the moving vlogs, but I'm excited about those. Those are our bedside table lamps. Got two, oh my gosh, I'm nearly broken. Got two new soap dispensers. Don't really need any more, but I just saw them and I thought they'd look cute. We have a couple more sinks in our house, so, you know. This I also got from Kmart. Do I need it? No. What am I gonna use it for? Absolutely no idea. I just thought it'd be a cute little piece of decor. We got it. We got a new puff. We got this when we first moved out into our very first apartment. And she's definitely seen better days. I actually just put her in the bin this morning. She, like she's a thing. Yeah, said goodbye to our old one. She was starting to lose all shape. So got a new one. And I didn't realize how bad our last one looked until we bought a new one. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what it's meant to be like. She's so firm. Um, I'm trying to think what else we got. Toilet brush holders. Like this is kind of really boring. We've got two black ones and then oh, one white one. We have three toilets in our new house, so had to get those. I also just hate moving with them. I just find it really gross. I don't know. Is that just me? Like, I don't know. Ugh. Got a new pillow. Cute from Kmart. Also got these pillows from Kmart. I got two of these. I thought this would be really nice on our bed. I actually don't really know what the theme or the vibe of our bed is. Right now we just have pretty much all white with hints of pink. I'm getting rid of the pink, but I don't know what color scheme to do. But I thought this would be good as little filler pillows in the back row, you know? I also got this cute little dish moment for our soaps. I actually think I might use this for our toothbrushes because they always drip everywhere. What do we think? Do we like? I don't know, we'll see. We'll play around with it when we get into the house and see what looks good. What else? I feel like I've got so much stuff and now I'm looking and like, I have absolutely nothing to show you. <laughs> New mattress protector, boring. This is the fun stuff. We got a plant stand from Target. I think I showed you guys in one of my recent vlogs, but I got a fiddle leaf plant, like a fake fiddle leaf. And so I thought that would look good with that, hopefully. This, I'm really excited about. I don't know if you guys remember, maybe back in like November, December, it would have been November actually. I got a set of cocktail glasses from Target. We had an unfortunate incident, and by we, I mean Nick. It was actually on the day that I lost my last job. It was a very bad day. I was really upset. Nick was obviously really upset because I was upset. He went to go empty the dishwasher and he was putting away glasses and he accidentally knocked one of my new cocktail glasses and I was obsessed with them. They are back at Target. I went in to Target, I kid you not, like every single day for three months straight looking for these damn cocktail glasses because I wanted to have more than three. These are actually a little bit different. They don't have the gold rim, but they're like otherwise identical. So she's back in business, baby. I've never been more relieved to see these in my entire life. I'm very excited. I have a full set of cocktail glasses. They're beautiful. And they're only, I think like 25 bucks for four and they're really nice quality. I mean, granted one of them did smash within a week of having it, but I think that was a fluke. It was just not a good day, you know? Some pillow protectors for our new pillows. They come in sets of 
two, so I got two packs. And then we also got some placemats for our new dining table. I'm hoping these look good. I got 10 of them. Obviously we don't need 10 placemats. It's quite literally just Nick and I <laughs> most of the time, but for whenever we're entertaining or hosting and with our table, it's one that extends. So we're really hoping that we can have like big groups of people over, our friends, our family. So I feel like we will need 10 placemats at some point. So. We've got two for now. I think the others are being delivered. We also have a blender that's being delivered as well. And then just some new marble coasters. I have another set of these, but they just come in packs of four. So I needed more for around the house. And I think that is it. This was really kind of boring. I feel like most of our exciting purchases have been bigger things like our couch, our fridge. And obviously you guys will see that all when it arrives. Um, but yeah. I've just taken my makeup off. I've put on Nick's robe that I bought him for his birthday. I always steal his clothes, especially in winter. Well, really only in winter. I'm not out here trying to steal his summer shorts, but this robe is like the comfiest, nicest, warmest thing. And it is freezing tonight. Thank you, Nicholas. <laughs> I need to get myself one of these. Um, I'm just winding down for the evening. It's quarter past 10. I have decided to call it a night. I should probably do some more packing, but I really can't be bothered. <laughs> we have all day tomorrow and we're not really in a huge rush to get out of here. We would like to do as much as we can tomorrow within reason, like working around the different tradies and filming this damn empty house tour <laughs> that I really want to film. Hopefully we'll be able to get a decent amount moved across, but I can't believe it. I can't believe we have the keys. I mean, we haven't used the keys, but we have the keys. <laughs> it was kind of anticlimactic. Like, we, like, we didn't really have the moment. Like we did the handover, final walkthrough, got the keys, and then the builder kindly asked us not to use them until tomorrow because they want to get in there early and finish everything off. And as soon as we use our keys, their master key won't work. By the time we finished the walkthrough, it was already quite late and quite dark outside. So we didn't really get like our moment in there, really basking in the moment, but I'm sure we'll get that tomorrow. It still honestly doesn't feel real. Even as we were walking through that, I was like, oh yeah, nice walls, nice door. Not really computing the fact that it was our walls and our doors and I don't know. Just this whole thing is kind of crazy, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited to bring you guys along for this journey. It really has been such a journey. I feel like you guys are quite literally moving with me. Um, and I know for a lot of people, I know when I'm watching people that are like, consistently watch or have been watching for a long time and they move I feel like it's almost like a scene change <laughs> like the closing of the curtains and the opening of a new one to this like all new scene all new environment it's a big change like it's a, a big change but an exciting one and I'm excited to bring you guys along for it and just bring you along for this next chapter we have so many fun things planned for this new house this new chapter of our lives i cannot wait i think tomorrow is gonna be a really long day i think i might actually end off this vlog here so i can start a new one tomorrow but i cannot wait to bring you guys along thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you very soon in my next vlog in our new house bye guys